We mentioned the historic nature of these proceedings at the top of the broadcast. Part of the history being made was the fact that two members of Congress were implicated in the fake elector scheme during testimony. One of them was apparently Wisconsin Republican Senator Ron Johnson. Here's part of the testimony about that. A staffer for Wisconsin Senator Ron Johnson texted a staffer for Vice President Pence just minutes before the beginning of the joint session. This staffer stated that Senator Johnson wished to hand deliver to the Vice President the fake electors' votes from Michigan and Wisconsin. The Vice President's aide unambiguously instructed them not to deliver the fake votes to the Vice President. Even though the fake elector slates were transmitted to Congress and the executive branch, the vice president held firm in his position that his role was to count lawfully submitted electoral votes. The committee presented text messages between aides for Republican Senator Ron Johnson and former Vice President Mike Pence. Again, Johnson's aide says he needed to hand something to Pence. When asked what it is, Johnson aide to Johnson's aide says, it's an alternate slate of electors for two states, Wisconsin and Michigan. Pence's aide responds, quote, do not give that to him. Senator Johnson has since responded to this. For that, we go to our chief congressional correspondent, Manu Raju. Manu, you caught up with Senator Johnson outside the Capitol. What did he have to say about this slate of fraudulent electors? Well, he acknowledges that in the morning of January 6th, he, in fact, was aware that his chief of staff had reached out to Mike Pence's office to try to deliver them this slate of electors. But he also contends that he does not know the genesis of this push to potentially provide new electors to this from the states of Michigan and Wisconsin. Says he has, quote, no idea the person that was behind it. Uh, he also says that he had no involvement whatsoever other than a very brief interaction he had with his staff member who tried to deliver this to the vice president's office who rejected it. This is what he said. Why was he even asking for that? Because somebody delivered this to our office and asked to deliver that to the vice president. Did you support the, his efforts to try to get those slates to the vice president? No, I, I, I had no knowledge of this. Who is, who is the person I, that I delivered it? You know, I, I had no involvement in an ultimate state of, uh, slate of electors. I had no idea this thing would be delivered to us. Got delivered staff to staff. My chief staff did the right thing. Contact the vice president's staff. Uh, they said didn't want it, so we didn't deliver it. Who's the person? That's, again, that's the end of story. Did Who's you? the person that delivered it to your I, office? I have no idea. And I also just asked him moments ago whether or not he would try to find out the identity of the person behind this. He indicated no interest in doing that. And I also asked him, Jake, just moments ago about why not, uh, you know, why exactly offer something to the vice president without vetting this information. He went on to say, we got handed an envelope that was supposed to go to the vice president. I didn't know, I didn't know about it, so we just called up the vice president and offered it. He claimed it came from a house office initially, but he also said he didn't know who, which house office provided it. So a lot more questions than answers after my interaction multiple times with Ron Johnson tonight.